Hi everyone! If you don't know me yet, my name is Greta and welcome to my channel! And if you are a returning viewer, then thank you for tuning on and watching this video! I really do appreciate that though. If you follow my channel, you probably notice I look familiar because I've been filming a few different videos at what goes, so I'm reviewing a super duper bra product that promises oh so many things. So I thought I'm gonna let the product sit in because it promises that it's smudge proof, wait, I'm gonna read it, waterproof, transfer proof, smudge proof, and sweat proof. So I am just keeping a product on to test this out, if that's really what we're promising, if that delivers what we promise. And I thought in the meantime, I'm gonna film a makeup tutorial, so I went with this bold makeup look, yellow for the winter because why not to brighten up a dull gray winter day <laughs> with a little bit of a color on your eyelids, isn't it? So this video should be already on my channel and the brow review thing for the amazing brow product, apparently the best at the moment on the market. Is it true? Is it now? The video is in there. I don't know yet because I'm in the middle, but if you press on an icon in there, you will know. <laughs> so for this video, I actually found a brand new brand for me. I haven't heard of this brand before to be honest i don't know might be living on the rock i don't know how popular is this brand if you heard about it leave a comment down below let me know if you tried any of the products or anything like this because honestly this is a brand new brand for me haven't tried or even seen anything from them so i'm kind of diving in with this so the brand what i'm talking about is cyo apparently it's owned by boots if i'm correct if i'm not correct feel free to correct me because i was trying to google it about it to just know a bit more oh yeah it is owned by boots it says boots company plc nottingham england so it is owned by boots and they don't state that on the packaging but apparently it's cruelty free brand is boots stands for cruelty free makeup so boots owns number seven and this and i think natural cosmetics or something like this i'm not really sure i don't want to lie to you but all brands that it's owned by boots are cruelty free although they don't have a logo of it, but apparently it's currently free, so thumbs up for that! We don't test on animals, hooray! I would not always stand for that. So I thought, you know, wait a minute, it's cruelty free brand. It looked pigmented in a shop, I tested it out a little bit on my hand, it looks super pigmented, so far it's a little bit too good to be true for 350 whole set palette. So I got Contour Highlight Blush Palette, color Sculpt in a color Fair Medium, as I'm quite light at the moment. I lost my tan, I need another holiday, and I'm not really a fan of a fake tan. To be honest, I never fake tan in my life, so I wouldn't even know how to use it, how to do that, because I'm just a little bit too scared to look orange, because you know those girls when you see in the street that they have like orange hands? Nah, not for me, I'm sorry. Not to offend anyone. If you feel like that is your look, go for it, you know, whatever makes you happy. Alright, so let's unpack this up. I haven't really tried that on my face, I just watched on my finger in the shop. So what we say, I'm just gonna read this quickly, shape up and go, time to get flawless, accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative. Okay, I love this. Make the most of what you got. Let's do this. I just hope I didn't take too light color. Fair medium might be a little bit too light for me. Oh, we shall see soon. Oh, I like the packaging. I like that it's plain and black because it looks so elegant, nothing. So CYO, I'm not really sure what it stands for. If you know, leave a comment down below. So by opening this up, is that cream contour to go? Oh, I think this is a cream contour. I thought I was going for the powder contour, but I think I made a mistake and I took cream one. I think I took the wrong one. Honestly, I swatched a different one in the shop and then I took a wrong one. Okay, so it has a little sticker in here. We can still test this out, I guess. All right, it has a little sticker on this one, but other colors doesn't have this. Oh, because this one is a powder. Okay, makes sense why the sticker is on. So we got three pans. The powder contour. Let's just do a swatch. It might be too light for me. I don't know. I think I took a wrong one. I think the one I was checking was all powder and was a bit darker. And this one, only contour itself is a powder, which I really like. <laughs> and then the highlight part is a cream. Mm, I'm not a fan of a cream highlight. Okay. Oh, it's interesting. It goes 
to a powder. I'm a bit confused. Okay, definitely cream in here. I hope you guys see this. But when doing this, it goes to a powder. I might like this actually. It gives you a right amount of highlight, but it's not like color, you know? Mm, I might like this. Okay, and the blush is cream. I'm not really... Yeah, I don't really like cream contour, cream blush or cream highlights in general. I prefer the powder ones just because I have really oily skin and I think that powder ones works better for me. Okay, so the blush it's really intense. Oh my god. So I'll need to take a tiny tiny bit not to ruin my makeup. And it goes into powder. How bizarre! It's cream but goes into powder. The same with the highlighter. It's cream but goes into powder. And then the contour itself is powder. I'm a bit confused. Oh, and you get a huge mirror in here, which is always handy. So I think without any further ado, we should test this out. I really hope I'm not gonna ruin my makeup by doing this. So I'm just taking a big fluffy brush. This one is by Real Techniques. It's actually a blush brush. Let's just go with this, right? I think I have to color too much in a brush. And actually color is perfect for my skin color now. It's not too bright or anything. And I like that it has great undertone to it. It's not really a bronzer, it's more contouring powder then because it has that great color into it. Okay, I like it. I don't know why I'm sucking in my cheeks. Like I know exactly where to place the powder, but it's just a habit, I think. Do you do that? Leave a comment up below, let me know. But honestly, I was checking a completely different product in the shop. So I thought I was buying one thing and I must have taken different box. Because I swatched on my hand completely different product. Okay, contour powder is actually good. Just gonna take a small lens brush and contour my nose a little bit. Okay, contour powder, definitely nice. Taking on a tiny, tiny brush, gonna go under my lip just to give it shadow so the lip will look optically bigger. And a little bit on my mouth. Okay, let's try the blush. I don't really know what brush I should use for that because it's really intense. I might use my finger just a tiny, tiny bit. Really don't want to ruin my makeup with a cream blush, but this is a review video, so I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna take the axis of my finger on my hand and then I'm gonna go on my cheek. I don't like this, I'm really sorry, but the cream part, eh, no. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of Urban Decay Naked Flush Native as my blush, just to fix this up a bit. And then this highlighter part, I'm not sure I'm gonna use this on my cheek, so I'm just gonna take a small lens brush and highlight under the brow arch and in an eye corner with this, just to see how it's gonna look. And the brow arch. I think just because I don't really use cream highlighters or cream blushes, that's why I'm not too keen on this. But if you use that, and you're used to that, you're using it, so it might actually work for you. You know what, I'm not really happy about this highlighter, so I'm just gonna take my highlighter and highlight the inner eye corner in my nose and the top of my cheeks. So for that reason, I'm gonna go with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit Ultimate Glow, and I'm gonna use the color that I use the most for highlighting, and you'll see why. A white sand, just this one in here. I mean, I nearly touched the pan already. That's how much I like that color. Just fix up the situation. All right, so my verdict about this CYO contour highlight and blush palette color sculpt in fair medium. I mean, it costs only $3.50. When you think $3.50 for whole palette is cheap. I personally would take this only for the contour powder, 
powder itself is amazing like I really really like it and I'll be definitely using this and thinking 350 even if you would buy just that part is cheap you gotta agree with this. The blush and the highlighter is not my cup of tea because I just don't do cream blush or cream highlighter. If you are for that, if you like using this, then it's definitely worth a go because it is pigmented as you've seen. It's just a bit too much for me <laughs> to handle. Plus I always use just the powder contour and powder blush so I'm not really used to using the cream plus I already had a setting powder on so you know you're not really supposed to use cream after you use the powder because it ain't the best decision <laughs> just gonna mess around everything so if I would have known that this is cream I would have used before I put setting powder on so maybe that would be a better result but I was sure I picked up a different palette I was checking one I swatched one palette and then somehow managed to pick up a completely different palette my verdict is yes it's worth your money definitely it's only 350 I mean just for this contour powder definitely worth 350 i'm definitely gonna be keeping this palette and using the powder only the contour powder because color so far is really good for my fair skin color at the moment thumbs up that is cruelty free brand it's super affordable i don't know why i never heard of this i'll be definitely trying to find other products and test them out if you want me to test out something particular leave the comment down below and let me know and yeah definitely thumbs up for me for this palette for cruelty free for pigmented super affordable i'll be definitely using this contour powder for sure these are not my cup of tea so i'm just gonna leave them there but the contour powder is amazing and worth money just for that i mean it's only 350 so that is the end of my review of this new brand that i never heard of before cyo have you tried anything from cyo leave a comment down below let me know maybe something is super amazing so i'm gonna get my hands on it as well thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed watching it don't forget to press the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more honestly guys i would really appreciate if you would press the button and subscribe and i'll see you soon in my next video so thank you so much for watching and bye ciao for now